Hey, it's Luxury Travel Docs here today, and welcome to the Seaborne Ovation. We boarded this mega yacht in Lisbon, Portugal, and we're taking a repositioning cruise to Barbados. The Seaborne Ovation was launched in 2018, and it has a capacity of about 600 passengers and 420 crew. For this particular crossing, we have about 473 passengers on board. Before we get started, we wanted to remind you that all proceeds from our channel are donated to charity. Please help us help others by giving us a thumbs up, commenting, or subscribing to our channel. Your support makes a difference. Today we are looking at cabin 1126 located on deck 11 midship port side. The room is private from the hallway with entries to a small powder room, a walk-in closet, and an entry table located immediately near the door. There is 450 square feet of living space with an additional 98 square feet of balcony space. The room is decorated in warm colors with gray carpeting, cream colored walls, and dark teak wood. The entry hall has black marble tile. In comparison to a veranda suite, a penthouse suite has an in-suite Nespresso machine located on the desk. Your in-suite complimentary bar setup is located above the desk. Filtered water is included on Seaborne and is replenished in your suite throughout the day and available all over the ship. Seaborne includes complimentary wine or spirits of your choice replenished daily. On the left side of the desk are three large drawers for extra storage. On the right side of the desk is a small refrigerator replenished with your choice of refrigerated, alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages daily. Seaborne primarily uses Coca-Cola products, but Pepsi products are available upon request. Across from the desk is a private bedroom area with obscured glass and double entry doors. The bed can be arranged in a queen or two twin fashion. Each suite comes with a pillow menu where you can choose extra firm, firm or soft pillows. Bedroom area glass that faces the balcony is less obscured, but there is heavy drapery to give you more privacy in this area. There is a well-lit vanity in the bedroom with a stool, a small drawer, and EU and US outlets. On all cruises, we personally bring a magnifying suction cup mirror that we can move anywhere around the room, including the bathroom, the vanity, and even the veranda doors. There are two small drawers and one extra shelf in each bed stand. There are switchable reading lights above each side of the bed. There is a small television on the wall at the foot of the bed. There are plenty of outlets in the room. Next to each bed is one USB-A, one USB-C, one EU, and one US outlet. On the phone next to the bed are two additional USB-A outlets. There is 13 inches of clearance under each bed so that you may store your luggage there easily. We were able to fit two rolling duffels without any difficulty. What we usually do is travel with a carry-on backpack, and we usually store our carry-ons inside our rolling duffels and then place them under the bed.
You can access both the walk-in closet and the bathroom from a door that is in the bedroom. The wardrobe is located between the sleeping area and the bathroom, and this is one of the most loved features of Seaborn cabins. Immediately next to the bedroom, you'll find a console with three shelves and five drawers. On the top, you will find your life vests, then a shelf with a plush blanket for your use during the cruise, and a small safe. This safe is actually smaller than the one that was located in our veranda suite. This safe would be big enough for passports, jewelry, cash, wallets, and perhaps a regular size tablet. However, you will have difficulty fitting a laptop inside this safe. Across from this console and behind the door are five small shelves. The hanging area is supplied with many hangers. There are two short hanging sections, good for shirts and pants that are folded over, and then one long section that can accommodate an evening gown length. There is a long shelf on top. You will find seaborne robes for your use during the cruise inside the closet. Inside, there are four hooks where you will find your hair dryer, slippers, and then a tie rack next to them. There is a full-length mirror behind the hallway entry door. This is a great place to point out that there are additional entrances to both the closet and the bathroom from the entry area of the room. You may also enter the bathroom from the back of the walk-in closet. Near the entry door to the bathroom is another console. On the top shelf, you will find your shoe shine box for complimentary shoe shine, three additional small shelves, and two shoe storage cabinets. The well-lit bathroom can be entered either from the walk-in closet or the entry hallway. The bathrooms are really another beloved feature of Seaborn cabins. It is spacious and well-lit and maximizes space. Immediately adjacent to the rear entry door are three small covered storage shelves and your choice of molten brown scents to use during your cruise. The linens in the penthouse suite are upgraded and more plush than you will find in a veranda suite cabin. There are two sinks and a separate shower, as well as a large, well-lit anti-fog mirror. There are grab bars in the tub and in the shower. There are handheld shower nozzles in the tub as well as in the shower. There is a retractable clothesline over the tub. There is shelving located below the sinks and then behind the sinks, so there is plenty of storage while you're on board. The Molten Brown Bath & Beauty products in the penthouse suite are full size. The walk-in shower is to the rear of the bathroom, adjacent to the tub. Inside, you will find a fixed and a handheld water nozzle, a grab bar, and two additional shelves. There is a hook outside of the shower. Ask your cabin steward if you need a shower chair, as this could be placed in the shower or in the tub. There is an additional large mirror over the tub opposite the vanity. This makes the sense of space even larger. There is an extra vanity mirror that has a regular magnification on one side and a 10 times magnification on the other side. Obviously, you can move this around the room if you want different lighting, although the lighting in the bathroom is excellent. The commode has a separate sink and can be entered either from the bathroom or the entry hall. The two doors not only give privacy, but allow it to be used as a powder room for guests visiting your cabin. There is a large open living space beyond the bedroom. Here you will find a large sofa that can accommodate a third passenger, a chaise at the end of the sofa, and an ottoman for the sofa. There is a large table with four additional chairs in the living space. The television is located over a console opposite the sofa. Here you will find EU and US outlets and three cabinets with three shelves in each cabinet. The television has an excellent selection of live channels, television on demand, 
and Movies On Demand. Also, you can find the BridgeCam and on-demand selections of the onboard lectures. The penthouse suite has a larger balcony than a veranda suite. The additional length of the balcony allows you to have a pane glass window for additional views. Entry to the large veranda is via a swinging door. The view is unobstructed above and below this cabin. On the veranda, you will find two high back reclining chairs with slide under ottomans two additional chairs, and one dining table and one occasional table. If you are traveling with friends or other companions that are adjacent to you, ask your cabin steward to open up the dividers between your verandas. You are able to send out laundry from this level of cabin for a fee. Some levels of Seaborn Club membership do have free laundry services. However, there is complimentary laundry facilities located on this ship on Deck 5. There are plenty of washers and dryers, irons, free detergent, as well as a steamer. Each cabin comes with a welcome setup of Moet Chandon Champagne. 24-hour room service is available and is complimentary. Door hangers are available to put out your breakfast order the night before, but we found the morning service to be so quick that we were able to order our coffee and morning breakfast and receive it in under 30 minutes every time. Complimentary coffee drinks are available throughout the day in the Seaborn Square. Occasionally, there is a short line to get a coffee. And an insider tip is to pre-order your coffee order on the Seaborn app. Then you can skip the line and pick up your order at the designated location. With each penthouse suite, you will have a personal suite host and a room attendant. Your host and attendant will do things such as welcome you with champagne and hors d'oeuvres, personalize your nightly turndown service, assist you with any special requests, manage your laundry service needs, replenish your ice and bar setup, and even draw you a pure pampering bath on request. Each penthouse suite comes with an unlimited internet streaming Wi-Fi package. The streaming Wi-Fi package was excellent and we were able to conduct Zoom calls in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean on our repositioning cruise. Each penthouse suite comes with a welcome bouquet of flowers as well as an upgraded fruit service throughout your cruise. We hope you're enjoying our review of the Seaborn Ovation. Look for more reviews on this magnificent ship, as well as cabins and other information. Always remember to make meaningful and healthy travel happen. We hope you're enjoying our review of the Seaborn Ovation, and we'll see you next time.